My son will tell me anything. He told me the first time he touched a boob. <laughs> and he came home and he was like, hey. And I go, yeah, and he go, come here. <laughs> and I walk up to him, I go, what's up? He goes, no, 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 outside. <laughs> now I'll tell you what I thought was happening. What I thought was happening was that point in time in every man's life where they look at their father and they think to themselves, well, I could beat the shit out of this guy. <laughs> right? Everybody hits it. Whether you do it or not, you do look at your dad once. You're like, I could fucking take this dude down for sure. <laughs> so I thought that was what was happening. So I was, I, we were walking outside. I was tightening up my shoes. I'm like, oh, it's fucking on. Okay, here we go. <laughs> and, uh, and I thought I was going to... He's stronger than me and faster than me. I thought I was going to have to fucking poke him in the neck and be like, sorry, dude. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know. <laughs> so... <laughs> He goes, uh, we get outside, and he goes, touch the boob. <laughs> hey, what do you think? He goes, definitely going to try to do that again. <laughs> but there are some things he tells me that I don't want to know. There are some things, like as a parent, there's some things you want to know. You're glad that your kid is open with you. But some shit, it grosses me out, right? <laughs> so he came home, and he was like, hey, Dad, hey, Dad, hey, Dad, hey. Oh... Uh, I gotta ask you a question, because you know I'm going out with Ashley, and you know I like her a lot, Dad. <laughs> you know, she's super special to me, and so I'm going out with her Friday for the first time. We're gonna be alone, alone, and some stuff is gonna happen, and I just wanna make sure she still likes me on Saturday, so can I ask you a couple of questions that might make you a little uncomfortable? <laughs> and I said, uh, you can't call a friend? <laughs> like, I've done enough raising, haven't I? I gotta get into this? Okay. I go, yeah, man, go ahead. He goes, thanks, Dad. Okay. Okay, so first of all, Dad, you know we're gonna be alone, and we're gonna be kissing, and my eyes are gonna be shut, right? And I go, yeah. Don't be creepy, open eye, kissy guy. <laughs> That's the worst. Isn't that the worst when you're kissing somebody and you kind of crack your eye like this, and they're like this? And you're like, well, fucking tonight's the night I'm going to die. Okay. <laughs> right? I don't know why you'd be staring at me from an eighth of an inch and away unless you're going to kill me later, right? Okay. And I go, yeah, dude, eyes closed. He goes, okay, good. Question number one answered. And then he goes, he goes, now, Dad, you know what I know what, I know what to do here. And he told me what his bra move is, and it's terrible. But I didn't correct him because I'm going to tell you the truth, guys. I left high school not knowing how to undo a bra. When I was in high school, if I wanted to see boobs, my bra move was this. <laughs> you know what? You know when <laughs> you know when you put the bra on top of the titties and it just <laughs> it just kind of pushes them down a little bit. Because every guy in here did this. Fuck it. You know what I mean? You were, <laughs> to this day, the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me in my life is when my mom came home early from work and found me trying to take her bra off of my brother. <laughs> oh, I did not live that fucking thing down for a long time. Listen, and I'll tell you, this is why I am the way I am. I'm gonna tell you what happened that night. This is who raised me. This is why I am the way I am. So that night, we're at dinner, right? And my, and my brother and I are sitting across from each other, and my parents are sitting across from each other, and um, my mom is this really passive-aggressive Northeastern Jew, and, and um, <laughs> she's sitting at the end of the table, and she was like, Tommy, my dad, Tommy, the funniest thing happened today. I came home early to surprise the boys, and boy, did I ever. <laughs> I came home, and I found Joshua trying to take my bra off of Jonathan. Isn't that funny? <laughs> And this is why I am the way I am. My dad is at the end of the table and he cuts a piece of meat and he goes, How'd he do? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so my son, right? So he goes, I know what to do. I know what to do here, Dad. I know. I go, okay, okay, buddy. And then I wish I could write this. This is exactly what he did. He starts to walk his fingers down his stomach. And he goes, and then, Dad. And he goes, this area here, 
I'm going to give you his quote because I couldn't have written it any better, okay? <laughs> he goes, this area here, <laughs> this, this is where I hear things get a little tricky. <laughs> and I said, you're right, it does get a little tricky. And he goes, because if my eyes are closed and the lights are out, I can't see anything. So how, like, Dad, how do you, uh... I just need to know, like, when you, like, when you do it, how do you, uh... Oh, and I, all the time he was saying this, I was like, man, I wish I was high for this conversation. <laughs> fucking should be so high right now. But he's like, Dad, how do you... Okay, I'm going to start over, Dad. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Kissing, eyes closed. Boobs, like them. Take a walk down to Tricky Town, and here we are. <laughs> so, Dad, what I need to know from you is, when you're in this area, how do, how do you, Dad, how, Dad, how do you, I'm just going to say it, Dad, okay, Dad, Dad, how do you touch a woman's banana? How do you do that? <laughs> and I was like, you want to know how I, <laughs> oh, no. You want to know how I to... I don't know, it's grossing me out, dude. I can't talk to you about it. Google it. I'm not going to give you my secrets. Are you kidding me? I worked hard for those secrets. It's trial and error, trial and error, trial and error. Every man in America tries something in high school. It doesn't work. You fucking tried something else. Every guy in here stumbled out of the gate. You think I'm going to kick you to the finish line? Fuck you. Figure it out like the rest of us did. You don't go from apprentice to sorcerer in one day. That's all I'm saying. I'm pretty sure it took Harry Potter seven movies, maybe eight. I don't fucking know. Look, I didn't know anything the first time I went down a girl's pants. It would have been nice. Sure would have been nice if somebody had told me, but nobody ever did. The first time I went down a girl's pants, it would have been nice if somebody told me that the hole was so far back. I was pushing around here forever. I'm like, how do you get in there? If I keep tapping on it, is it gonna pop open? I mean, <laughs> no wonder they call it the clam. I'm hitting the shell right now. Do I need a Wi-Fi password for this motherfucker? <laughs> little pig, little pig, let me in. Like, I don't know. And then when I finally hit a hole, I thought I'm so far back, I'm in the wrong one. I jumped the vagina. And here was the worst part. Teenage boys are so bad at sex. When I finally realized I was in the right place, I just left my finger there like I was taking her temperature or something. No movement or anything, just this right here. Like she was a Thanksgiving turkey and I was just waiting for her to be done. <laughs> 